repair, closure. Absorbable suture materials such as catgut, polyglactin, polyglyconate, polyglycolic acid, polydioxinone, PDS, and polyglycaprone. Non-absorbable suture materials such as silk, linen, surgical steel, nylon, polyester, polybutyster, and polypropylene. Alternatives to sutures Skin adhesive strips For the skin, self-adhesive tapes or steri-strips. Other adhesive polyurethane films, such as opsite, tegaderm, or bioclusive. Tissue glue Tissue glue is also available. Stapling devices Simple repair. It is used when the wound is superficial, i.e., involving primarily epidermis or dermis, or subcutaneous tissues without significant involvement of deeper structures, and requires simple one layer closure. This includes local anesthesia and chemical or electro cauterization of wounds not closed. For closure with adhesive strips, list appropriate evaluation and management service only. A local anesthetic is injected around the laceration and the wound is cleansed, explored, and often irrigated with a saline solution. The physician performs a simple, one-layer repair of the epidermis, dermis, or subcutaneous tissues with sutures. With multiple wounds of the same complexity and in the same anatomical area, the length of all wounds sutured is summed and reported as one total length. Simple repair of superficial wounds of scalp, neck, axillae, external genitalia, trunk, and slash or extremities, including hands and feet, 2.5 cm or less. 12,002 2.6 cm to 7.5 cm. 12,004 7.6 cm to 0.12.5 cm. 12,005 12.6 cm to 20.0 cm. 12,006 20.1 cm to 30.0 cm. 12,007 over 30.0 cm. Simple repair of superficial wounds of face, ears, eyelids, nose, lips, and slash or mucous membranes, 2.5 cm or less. 12,013 2.6 cm to 5.0 cm. 12,014 5.1 cm to 7.5 cm. 12,015 7.6 cm to 12.5 cm. 12,016 12.6 cm to 20.0 cm. 12,017 20.1 cm to 30.0 cm. 12,018 over 30.0 cm. Treatment of superficial wound dehiscence, simple closure. The physician treats a wound that is failing to heal properly. There has been a breakdown of the healing skin before or after suture removal. The skin margins have opened. There is no evidence of infection. The physician cleanses the wound with irrigation and antimicrobial solutions. The skin margins may be trimmed to initiate bleeding surfaces. The wound is sutured in a single layer. Intermediate repair Includes the repair of wounds that, in addition to the above, require layer closure of one or more of the deeper layers of subcutaneous tissue and superficial, non-muscle, fascia, in addition to the skin, epidermal and dermal, closure. Single layer closure of heavily contaminated wounds that have required extensive cleaning or removal of particulate matter also constitutes intermediate repair. A local anesthetic is injected around the laceration and the wound is cleansed, explored, and often irrigated with a saline solution. Due to deeper or more complex lacerations, Deep subcutaneous or layered suturing techniques are required. 
the physician sutures tissue layers under the skin with dissolvable sutures before suturing the skin. Extensive cleaning or removal of foreign matter from a heavily contaminated wound that is closed with a single layer may also be reported as an intermediate repair. With multiple wounds of the same complexity and in the same anatomical area, the length of all wounds sutured is summed and reported as one total length. Repair, Intermediate, Wounds of Scalp, axillary, Trunk and Slash or Extremities excluding hands and feet, 2.5 cm or less, 12,032 2.6 cm to 7.5 cm, 12,034 7.6 cm to 0.12.5 cm, 12,035 12.6 cm to 20.0 cm, 12,036 20.1 cm to 30.0 cm, 12037 over 30.0 cm Repair, Intermediate, Wounds of Neck, Hands, Feet and Slash or External Genitalia, 2.5 cm or less, 12042 2.6 cm to 7.5 cm 12044 7.6 cm to 0.12.5 cm 12045 12.6 cm to 20.0 cm 12046 20.1 cm to 30.0 cm 12047 over 30.0 cm 12047 over 30.0 cm Repair, Intermediate Wounds of neck, hands, feet, and slash or external genitalia, 2.5 cm or less, 12,042 2.6 cm to 7.5 cm, 12,044 7.6 cm to 0.12.5 cm, 12,045 12.6 cm to 20.0 cm. 12046 20.1 cm to 30.0 cm 12047 over 30.0 cm Complex repair Includes the repairs of wounds requiring more than layered closure, viz, scar revision, debridement, e.g., traumatic lacerations or avulsions, extensive undermining, stents or retention sutures. Necessary preparation includes creation of a defect for repairs, e.g., excision of a scar requiring a complex repair, or the debridement of complicated lacerations or avulsions. Complex repair does not include excision of benign, 11,400 to 11,446, or malignant, 11,600 to 11,646, lesions. Instructions 1. The repaired wound, S, should be measured and recorded in centimeters, whether curved, angular or stellate. 2. When multiple wounds are repaired, add together the lengths of those in the same classification, see above, and from all anatomic sites that are grouped together into the same code descriptor. For example, add together the lengths of intermediate repairs to the trunk and extremities. Do not add lengths of repairs from different groupings of anatomic sites, e.g., face and extremities. Also, do not add together lengths of different classifications, e.g., intermediate and complex repairs. Simple ligation of vessels in an open wound is considered as part of any wound closure. Simple exploration of nerves, blood vessels, or tendons exposed in an open wound is also considered part of the essential treatment of the wound and is not a separate procedure unless appreciable dissection is required. The physician performs complex, layered suturing of torn, crushed, or deeply lacerated tissue. The physician debrides the wound by removing foreign material or damaged tissue.
Irrigation of the wound is performed and antimicrobial solutions are used to decontaminate and cleanse the wound. The physician may trim skin margins with a scalpel or scissors to allow for proper closure. The wound is closed in layers. The physician may perform scar revision, which creates a complex defect requiring repair. Stents or retention sutures may also be used in complex repair of a wound. Reconstructive procedures, such as utilization of local flaps, may be required and are reported separately. Repair, complex, trunk, 1.1 cm to 2.5 cm. 13,101 2.6 cm to 7.5 cm. Plus 13,102 each additional 5 cm or less. 13,120 repair, complex, scalp, arms, and slash or legs, 1.1 cm to 2.5 cm. 13,121 2.6 cm to 7.5 cm. Plus 13,122 each additional 5 cm or less. Repair, complex, forehead, cheeks, chin, mouth, neck, axillae, genitalia, hands and slash or feet, 1.1 cm to 2.5 cm. 13,132 2.6 cm to 7.5 cm. Plus 13,133 each additional 5 cm or less. 13,151 repair, complex, eyelids, nose, ears and slash or lips, 1.1 cm to 2.5 cm. 13,152 2.6 cm to 7.5 cm. Plus 13,153 each additional 5 cm or less. Secondary closure of surgical wound or dehiscence, extensive or complicated. The physician secondarily repairs a surgical skin closure after an infectious breakdown of the healing skin. After resolution of the infection, the wound is now ready for closure. The physician uses a scalpel to excise granulation and scar tissue. Skin margins are trimmed to bleeding edges. The wound is sutured in several layers.